morning, we are speaking to Fik Said and his story about his redecorated bedroom went viral on social media and he's actually spent the last eight years saving to buy this house and to making it perfect and now he has his perfect room. So thank you so much, Fik, for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, like, because I want to share about my story. I wouldn't say that it, it is perfect, but I think <laughs> it is my little work of, you know, Welcome to my wonderland, my little yeah. wonderland. Brilliant. When we saw the, 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 the before and after pictures on, uh, on, it was everywhere on social media and whatever, I was yes. like, mm, very smart, going white. I love it. Doesn't it feel different though, walking into a room that you've like redesigned and redecorated yourself, right? Yes. At, at first, I, I thought it's like, um, it's not going to be, you know, like this beautiful. I just... Um, imagine it's going to be wide, minimalist, and simple. But then when I upload it to my through social media, to sharing with my friends, just for fun. And then uh, many comments and, you know, criticize coming in. So I, I never expect it's going to be, you know, like very viral like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think nobody, nobody that posts video up on their social media think that it will go viral. But some yeah. things catch catches people's attention and they want to share it you know and then and and you know you know what the, the funny is um the funny thing is i have read some you know um a good advice lah from um some id uh people they said that uh when when you when you you know uh uh they, they seems like a bit sad because uh, because i have um wrongly, you know, rule, uh, break the ID rules because the towels is not much with the, the color. You know, I, I don't know. have ID background. So, I'm not good at decorating. I'm just good at buying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't matter whether the tiles matches uh, the, the, rules, the furniture. Man. Don't yeah, yeah, forget about the It looks the great. Rules. And the best part is, I can tell he's a neat freak and a bit OCD because everything is in his place and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> now, now, what, what we're interviewing you about today is about your life growing up because it's quite uh, inspirational. Um, maybe we should go to when you were growing up, like you were a kampong boy, you claim. Yes. So tell us when, about your life growing up in the kampong. You know, what did you always dream of having when you were growing up? When people say that, um, how come do you have the, the determination to savings up, to buy a house, to decorate a house? You know, I think that the most important factor is maybe for me, I'm not talking about anyone else. Um, everybody have their own journey. But for me, um, to have that um, determination to savings up is I think the way I am growing up, I am growing up in the kampung. So, um, you know, kampung boys and kampung home, um, we're living in very average house, every home. So... Um, I didn't say that um, average home without IKEA furniture is not good, no. But, you know, when you've been growing up in um, average uh, around, I mean, condition, so you, you may have a little dream that one day you might own your, uh, your, your own house and your really own room, at mm. least, right? And you want to make it beautiful, better than your little house um, room or home, like that, you know, just childhood memories that maybe um, taught me to be determined like this, you know. Okay. Did you have your own room back in your kampong house? Absolutely no, because... Uh, <laughs> Had to share <laughs> with a lot of people? Yes, of course. <laughs> but what was like, I mean, like, in the kampong, you're, you're freer, it, the, the air is cleaner, they say. Do yes. you, don't you miss that life? I mean, now that you're, you're in, like condo living, apartment living, it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Of course, kampung, um, you know, kampung is more better, more free. Even if you are being stranded during MCO, I think it is better stranded in the kampung rather than stranded in an apartment or in the city, right? So, yeah. yes, I can admit, I, I cannot deny that kampung is better than city, but the work responsible, you know, I just staying in Shalom to, you know, work and yeah. I don't have any choice. <laughs> That's true because you have to find work somewhere, right? And yes. um, kampong doesn't provide you with that opportunity to to expand your wings and work. I guess also, um, wh why was it from when you were young that you think, okay, I have to own my own home? Because I think a lot of young people nowadays they 
they don't have that in the back of their minds, right? Like owning their own homes. I I also don't uh, really have a dream to, you know, not 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 in a child, not from child lah. I must like, oh, I, I must have hope, no lah. But um, you have the something that you dream, right? Mm. And for example, I'm not saving up just uh, for buy a house or decorating a house. Before that. Um, from I have started my own, uh, earn my own money, mm. which um, back then in 2009, I have graduated. My first job is being a receptionist at the hotel. That time, the first thing that I saving up to buy is to get my breasts. You know, you see my smile today is not a one, <laughs> I'm not born with this beautiful smile. Wow. <laughs> I need to up to, um, you know, to, to wear breasts and that kind of thing. You have something that you you want, you yes. know, not really house, other thing, like if you small, want to buy a... Small goals, right? Small yes. goals to yes. start with, yeah. Yes, like so that. When, okay, so when you first got your first job, you were saving up to do braces. Buying my braces, yeah, to do braces, yeah. And then <laughs> saving up to buy other things and, you know, maybe right now, because after um, this is getting really serious because after 2012, um, I bring my mom to stay over uh, here in Shah Alam because my dad has passed away in 2012. So from that moment, I think it's getting serious that no, Rafiq, you have to saving up to buy a house and to, you know, when you have a house, you need to have a beautiful house and, you know, at least comfortable to be living yeah. in. Uh, at, for my mother, not for me, not for just for me, for my mother. Yeah. Because you are the man of the house now, you have to be responsible. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Tell us about that time when your your dad passed away. What what happened then? Um, you know, it, my my dad, and my mom is not uh, really young. My my mom is now is seven seventy four, and my dad during his um. Uh, at that 2012, he passed away at, at, at the age of 69. Yeah, and um, was he not feeling well? Like, was he yes. was he sick? Uh, he 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 um what what we call the um, I forgot the can <laughs> something cancer on you know men um that prostate cancer oh, is it? Yes, that, okay. that, that that's your prostate cancer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he died uh, because of the prostate cancer, and that time um during uh. He's sick, um, you know, but quite of time, maybe around three to four months. And I, ulang ali, you know, uh, he admitted at hospital KL and, and then hospital Selayang. So during that three to four months, I traveled from Shah Alam to KL and to Selayang to take care of him. Mm -hmm. But that time, I also didn't think that one day I will take care of my mom. But when the day of um, he's passing away, he's passed away. That day I just realized, oh no, now my mom is alone. So I will not, I will not um, let my mom just stay alone at Kampung. So um, I think so you, brought him, that, you brought her to KL to stay with from you. From that moment yeah. of time, that realized me, hit me that, Rafiq, you have to find your own house like that. Mm. So tell us about this this house that you have bought. Like you started saving. Uh, I read that you started saving from 2012 for yeah. your dream home. Like what did you have to do to save this money to finally buy your own house? Actually, um, I really love this area. I mean, um, this apartment that I live for is very, um, uh, very what, what, um, you know, it's close to hospital, it's close to university, it's close to ICT. So, it's very strategic location. Yeah, yeah. that's the word. It's very strategic location. And I have um, do research how much if I want to buy this house, how much is the price. And then from that moment, um, I compare to what I, what I have earned. And then I ask for my friends and some other person that I can trust to. And then they say that, oh, you, I, they, they think that I can afford to buy the house. And um, from that, uh, I get advice from, you know, I have fi uh, friends in financial um, uh, field that they said, you need to savings up right, uh, rather than use, for example, yes, I can use my KWST for buy a house, but you need extra expenses when you buy a house. Right. Uh, that's that's uh, the best advice I get from my friends and from my, my, my siblings and my, the person around me. They said that 
um, yes, you can buy a house with, you know, like EPF and bank loan, a bank loan, but you need extra money when you have a house. So I take the advice and I, uh, I, you know, uh, I, I, I go to IKEA. Uh, I know about IKEA from my study, um, <laughs> from my study time. So. Uh, when you go to IKEA, you know how the price and how to imagine the budget that you need to know. Okay, so um, for example, lah, uh, maybe 50k. For example, don't get me wrong. Maybe you need to you need 50k to decorating your house and to make your house uh, beautiful. So you have to plan. So for example, for five years in. One year, you need to at least 10,000 if you want to save it up for one year for 10,000. So, one year have 12 months. For at least one month, you need to save it up for 1,000 ringgit. Yeah. So, just simple calculation, no? It's not really complicated. Yeah. But how hard was it? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, okay, uh, you said that you work for the government. And yes. we know it's not the best uh, salary. It's great work. <laughs> but how tough was it? It's average work and average income, I know. Um, it's not really work. It's not really hard to um, saving up money. I just control my, you know, makan my lunch. I, I, I brought lunch from my house, you know, sometimes. And I skip lunch sometimes. And oh. Yeah, I, that's, that's, that, I think that's the most uh, thing that I can control. The expenses that I can control is maybe um, everyday meal, you know. And especially when you are at the office. Secondly, I I didn't go to travel for quite sometimes. I mean, um, very far. I mean, like overseas travel. I didn't go for overseas travel for quite some times. Just um in the in the um it's Salam it's Negara, Malaysia. Just, yeah, yeah, Malaysia only, not to uh, international whatsoever. And yeah, I think um shopping a uh, average branded. You know, <laughs> not really splash on my money and in government also we have a bonus. So I think that's one of the things that I really right. care of. That helps, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you so you like sort of ikat perot, like you don't buy too many <laughs> things that you don't yeah. need and yeah. don't really eat. It's okay because yeah. you can lose weight also. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. And don't buy unnecessarily to save money. I think it's very yeah. hard, for, especially for young people nowadays to... But sometimes, uh, yeah. I also telajak shopping, you know. You know? <laughs> but we need to, you know, to cover up in the next month like that. Lah. Okay. So how long was it uh, before you finally bought this house that you're staying in? How long did you have to stay safe, roughly? Um, I think it's about five years like that Con concentrating i mean and really focusing on to saving up to 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 decorate the, the expect uh, to allocate the expenses for decorating is i think about five years lah uh -huh. um it's not really much it's just about one month around 700 to 800 only you know mm. yeah <laughs> but for some people, it might be a lot also. Uh, but yes, yeah, but I mean, it's yeah. difficult to keep that like, because yeah. right now you don't have that many liabilities yet, right? Uh, you don't have yeah, like family, yes, children yes. and all yes, that. Yes. So that's why yeah, that's you true. should start before you have a family. That's why. Oh, um, yeah? I, also, I also read that some comment that um, how come you saving up for decorating a house and buy a house, but you didn't saving up for, you know, married, getting married like that. <laughs> One no need to worry like that. Eh, <laughs> you know, right. you know I, 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 I'm, also, I'm, I'm just okay with that comment. But for me, um, focusing and growing up on yourself is more important rather than everyone have their own journey. Everyone have their own choice. But for me, focusing, focusing on growing up on myself is I think it's more important rather than to getting married. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And being, I think being financially stable, having your own home, um, eventually that those things will come, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, um, two years after buying your house, uh, apparently you were renting this house before this as well, right? Yes. And then you, you struck a deal with your, the landlord and they yeah. decided to sell it to you. Mm -mm. So two years after buying this house, you finally managed to furnish it, especially yes. your room, your dream room. I mean, you yeah. must have been so excited and proud, right, of achieving this dream of yours. 
I'm not saying that really proud, but I just feel satisfied, you know, yeah. that finally I can, I can have a beautiful, my own home, my own, my own room. Yeah. You know, the, the original plan is I want to make over the whole house before the Hari Raya. So the, the, the work, the, the, the makeover work have actually have been done, have been started since January. The, mm -hmm. uh, I have called some um, IKEA installer before that and some um, ID person to, you know, to measure, to, to look uh, into my house. But then when the MCO started, so it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. getting, it's this, this, I need to, I have to, Wait for MCO to end it so that I can continue again to the original plan. Okay. So the original plan is to redecorate the whole house, is it? Yes. But right yes. now, you've just redecorated your room. Yes. That's... Are you happy with how it turned out? I'm really happy. Really happy and really satisfied. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, step because... by step, la, right? So yeah. you're going to go do your room, then after that, another room and yes. whatnot. What does your mom think of this? Um, at the first... Uh, the first, um, you know, I think uh, when I told her that I want to buy furniture, I want to buy uh, IKEA, and then she said that um, it's not expensive, ma. She said like that. Like, say, um, no need to buy IKEA lah. You just buy, um, you know, regular furniture like that. And then I said that, mom, uh, I have uh, money and I have I have allocated the budget. And then uh, I, uh, ironically, I bought. Um, the furniture for her room first. That's the strategy. <laughs> when you, call, you you deal with your mom, you need to give her first. So I bought her, her room furniture first from IKEA, and then when she likes it and she she turn out she likes it, and then she just you know you know you just buy lah. It's your your money, not my money. <laughs> well, very strategic move. I like it. Yeah. Yes, All well strategy. planned. <laughs> If all else fails, please your mom first, right? Yeah. 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 But I like it. Like, like I like how you're being a very good son and and taking care of her and and uh, redecorating the house not only for yourself but for her comfort as well, right? Yeah, it's it's just a you know responsible. You no, know, what what do choice I what what other else choice I have? I I have only my mom to 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 get her satisfied. I don't have a girlfriend to get satisfied, so I satisfied my mom. <laughs> well, not yet, not yet. You know? uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, that's it, you know. <laughs> so now that you've done the house and you've done your room, your mom's room, and your mom's living with you and everything, so is that gonna change if the girlfriend thing happens? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for this for this short time, I didn't uh, get any, you know. <laughs> I, I I didn't think plan at all. Okay. Dude, trust me, you're my, all over my, social media. The <laughs> invitations will come. My, you know? my aim right now is to complete the Mac over for the whole house. That's my right. aim right now. Okay. <laughs> so what's next? What's the next plan for your house once this MCO is lifted and you can start yeah. decorating your house again? Where is the, the next the, area? The kitchen. The kitchen is the most important area I think that needs to be um made over. Yeah. And in any other house, I think the kitchen is the soul of the house, right? So I think kitchen is the most important thing. So next, after MCO ended, I really want to 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 look that to that part lah, the kitchen okay. part. Okay. Have do you always have this creative idea, or have you always been interested in designing things like that? No. That's why you can you can imagine how you want to sort of redecorate your house. No, like I said, I I really not good in decorating, you know. Maybe um I'm really good at referring, um referring uh, to to refer to something. Like for example, I always go to IKEA, I always uh saw something, you know, room design at the social media, following um um uh, decorating social media, you know, like many social media for decorating you can follow at it social media at, the, at, the, at online so from Pinterest, that think, right, yeah. yeah from that I think that's the, the idea the, in, the imagination is you know just come from there honestly I didn't do sketches to whatsoever from buying I just imagine you know oh this furniture will be uh, right here that table will be right there that loft 
pad would be right there. I only sketch for the size only, you know. I measure the size, I measure the height of my shielding so that this loft bed will uh, suit, suit to my room. Just only yeah. that. I didn't sketch for the design and for the looks, no. Yeah, because you don't want to like suddenly wake up and then hit your head on the on the ceiling, yeah. right? Every no morning. ceiling fan that's actually quite safe, right? So you can actually have a loft bed. <laughs> yeah. So now you you said the the your bedroom's done, your mom's bedroom is done. You're planning to do the kitchen next, and then the living room maybe after that. So all the allocations that you've made, all the savings that you made, it's enough for the entire house to be done, or you still need to save up more. I guess it's I guess it's enough, and I think it's I have extra I guess <laughs> because you know what the original plan that um I I forecast is. I want to hire people to do the painting job. Mm. You know, ah. but now I have savings up um, a lot for that because I have paint my, painted my room, my uh, my own and my, my mom's room, uh, my own. So that's really saving up from that um, upa uh, someone <laughs> in your, your house. And guess what? Um, it is not really easy work, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really, it's yes. not just the matter of painting, but it has to be yes. nice and smooth <laughs> as well. I still get the kesan, you know, on my on my me because I hit the tangle. <laughs> oh no! The wall, yes. <laughs> Did you have to refer to like a YouTube tutorial on how to paint your walls too? Um, to Did paint you just not bantai lah, only, just do. <laughs> I just bantai, to paint I just bantai. But to do the wiring for ceiling light, yes, I need to refer to internet because Wait, of, you did the yeah, lighting as well? <laughs> yeah, I just uh, connect the lighting uh, to the ceiling wiring. You know, at the wiring, you have three types yeah. of wiring. So I don't know. I <laughs> just Google it and then, ta-da, it's Oh work. my, <laughs> that you need to have an electrician usually, but you, you did, you're right. Painting and electrical work, you saved a ton of money over there. Yes. <laughs> Very Good smart. Job. I like now, I mean, in, besides, besides just redecorating your house, you've learned a new skill as well, right? Two new skills. Yes. Painting <laughs> your walls and also uh, doing the electric uh, in the yeah. house. That yeah. is brilliant. Painting, painting is the, the most uh, work that, um, you know, uh, it's, it takes about two weeks to complete it, you know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did you did the whole house. Did you do this? Know, by the, the whole room because I paint the wall, I paint the ceiling. So two weeks. Wow. Yeah, two weeks. Did you do this during MCO or like while you were still working and then you come home and then you paint? No, painting is during the MCO. Painting the wiring during the MCO. Uh, the installation of the bed and the wardrobe just only before the MCO begin. It's. It's being done on uh, Saturday and our M- the MCO is beginning on Wednesday, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, so the installation of the bed and the wardrobe is being done before, just before the MCO begin. But the painting work, the other um, is, uh, assemble, assemblement of uh, the other furniture is during the MCO. So you've been making full use of your MCO time, <laughs> right? Time Very well good. spent. <laughs> now, what's your advice, Fik, to to other people who are probably struggling to make their dream come true. What can um, they do? I think I'm not, the, I'm not the right person to give advice, but um, like I said, um, you have to, you know, have a dream. You have, you have to have a dream and try to make the dream, the dream that you can think that you can afford to, you know. A re- dream, real, like a be real, real about dream, it. Yeah. yeah. You need to be uh, have a real dream, and you you know you can afford for it, and you just to have to to pay certain price, you know, to have to 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 sacrifice something to get that um the the thing that you want. That's that's the advice I think, and maybe the second advice is um you you have to really take good care of your family so that uh, I think that one of the thing that give me a way, you know, to, to make the things easily because of the uh, intention, I guess, because of the intention to make my mom uh, happy so that it will be easily, I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very I like good that. With a good intention, um, yes. uh, you will find a way. 